see us coming um, to where the United States is, and how, and um, how do you see it? If so, how do you see us preventing that as teacher organizations, as teachers, and hopefully as school boards as well? Well, so first of all, my short answer is I hope not. Um, but as you already pointed out, if history is any guide, um, it's like watching watching a tidal wave in the distant the distant shore, and it's on its way, right? Um, uh, and those education policies that hit the U.S. tend to roll into Canada. Um, they, they, they might be diluted. Um, we don't, you know, the, the things are really bad in the US around no child left behind policies because of what's called high stakes testing, mm -hmm. right? Um, which really has not taken hold in the same way in Canada. Um, and uh, so, you know, I hope not. Um, and there are some real examples like, the, like some of the things that are going on in Nova Scotia uh, that, that portend a different tact. But let me say, let me throw something else into the conversation that relates to what you're saying. Um, many teacher organizations are um, uh, staunchly against some of the testing regimes that are being put forward, even if they can't say so politically, right? Because teachers do experience them in that way in the classroom. Um, I'm going to just push back on that a little so that I can alienate everyone in the room. Um, <laughs> It, no Child Left Behind in the United States, one of the, I think, the big problems that progressive educators have, have had or have sowed is um, the failure to admit how things, how bad things are in some schools, right? Um, there are schools in downtown Chicago, in Toronto, in Vancouver, uh, in Detroit, um, in South uh, Los Angeles, where before, let's say in the US examples, before No Child Left Behind, um, there was practically nothing going on, right? There were unbelievably low expectations for kids. The teachers um, were, uh, you know, basically straight jacketed by different policies um, or had given up. And it's not like in the Hollywood movies, you know, it's not like the, the teachers are, are mean, evil people. They're all um, well-meaning, but the conditions were so frightful, right, that, uh, that they couldn't do it. And No Child Left Behind has improved education in those schools, okay? The problem is the one-size-fits-all uh, solution mm -hmm. to schools, teachers, and students right. across the country. And, in, and, and that's where, I mean, I know we're not going to disagree on this. Um, basically, the teacher has to have some leeway in deciding what their students need. And in fact, in some of the most elite schools, they've managed to um, get out of testing requirements, right? Because they're so special that they don't have to um, do that. And, but the reasons they put for getting out are reasons that could apply to, to all students. So um, I think that, like you said, nobody's against testing completely, right? All teachers want to know how their students are doing. It's, it's the way that those tests are put to use mm -hmm. um, and, and, uh, and how they're implemented. 